Back when I started Well Lug or Wellington Lego User Group, member management wasn't really a thing that I'd thought about too much. But as the club grew, member management became a thing that we needed to focus on. Along came Jay. Now Jay's become a good friend of mine over the years. He's a computer guy, he does databases and websites, and he invented Jumper Plate. Now he also gave me a set of five of these custom minifigures that you can get to help support Jumper Plate. Stay tuned and I'll tell you how. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dan and if you like this video and want to see more like it, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to catch me live. I do stream on Twitch, so head over to twitch.tv forward slash between the bricks. Over there, we just hang out, chill, chat and build Lego. Now, Jumper Plate. Jumper Plate is an amazing piece of kit. Now, we had issues with member management way back in the early days of Well Lug, as I said in the intro, and along came Jay. Now, thankfully, Jay is such an awesome dude. He decided to fix the problem that we had, which was the member management system, which was pretty non-existent. So, along came Jumper Plate. Jay has worked on Jumper Plate for years. He has tailored it specifically to be perfect for lug use. And if you are a lug, an R lug, uh, anywhere around the world and you want to use Jumper Plate, I highly, highly recommend having a look at it. It is a fantastic member management tool. It also acts as a registration and information sharing platform for shows and events. And the best part, lug bulk it has the best lug bulk management system that you will find anywhere now onto the minifigs and where they help out jay's put together a collection of five classic minifigures and all of the proceeds from those minifigures are going directly back into jumper plate to help develop it even further and even better there is a chance that you could win one of two lego house exclusive sets so before we take a look at the minifigs that I have in hand, and I'm going to compare them to originals, haha, I bet you didn't see that coming, we're going to take a quick look at the website that Jay has set up, and all of the links will be in the description. Here is the landing page for the Jumper Plate Shopify store, and as you can see right there at the top, there is uh, Jay Horn's Sigfig with the golden ticket for one of those two Lego House exclusives. When we click on Learn How, you can see that the prizes are there, the dates are there, and there is also, not only are they just tickets, they are actually custom printed tiles. Now Jay has thought of everything, and there is some crazy arms in there to be able to display your golden ticket winner. There's also the instructions on how to go about getting the prize. Back to the main page now and you can see here there is a little bit of a classic town collection uh, bio here and you can see here every single purchase goes directly back into supporting the ongoing development of Jumper Plate to ensure it continues to make the system available to absolutely everybody. Now there are free versions of Jumper Plate for basic services and then there are paid versions of Jumper Plate for the extensive range of services. Uh, I highly recommend checking them out and seeing which one is the best version for you. There are some beautiful product photos there with the individual elements, the Matchbox style box and the five of them on a shelf there. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see each individual one. They are going to cost $30 individually or if you buy the bundle, you save 16% and get it for $125 New Zealand dollars. Now I do have to state right here, right now, the top line on the screen there, you can see it is only shipping to New Zealand and Australia at present now this is because there are global shipping issues um, it is unfortunate but that is the case so just bear that in mind for now each figure comes sealed in a cellophane wrap in a matchbox styled uh, box here and um, I've got to say that the the quality of the box and the printing on here and uh, even just the feel is really really nice and feels like a premium product on the back of each box there, there is a little bit of a blurb about the minifigures as well. So I'm not going to show all of those and spoil the information. Um, you'll be able to read that when you get your own set. So once the cellophane is removed, as I said before, it's a matchbox style. So you can simply just push up from the bottom or the top, depending on which way you want to open the box to reveal the minifigure and the brick inside. Each uh, figure does come with its own custom printed brick as well. 
and as you can see on the side of it it just has the a jumper plate logo so five bricks in total one in each color to go with each of the minifigures as you can see there is also a very nice sort of just a little cutout there for the fig to sit into in the box as well as the brick um, so you can leave them in there for safekeeping or you can take them out for display so here's figure number one police and it is all monochrome blue with that uh, very nice uh, light white if not slightly gray print on the torso there and as you can see it pretty much matches the torso exactly from the original policeman so here's number two fire and as you can see there jay has chosen to use a red monochrome figure to represent this particular character so here we have figure number three, construction, and Jay has chosen yellow uh, for the monochrome for this one. Now, unfortunately, due to the light and the glare off the camera, it is very difficult to see the print, but I promise you it is there. Um, it is, again, very subtle. It's not 100% print on all of these figures. It's not 100% white, I think. It looks like it's about... 50 to 70 percent opacity so um, trust me it is there in in the print uh, and as you can see the mechanic minifigure that it is meant to represent uh, that one was available in a few different colors black red and blue from memory um, and I've chosen to uh, use the blue one there as the representation and again I have to say uh, just looking at it the print is definitely one for one for accuracy and uh, particularly like the fact that this one also has a yellow helmet when more commonly these ones came with uh, white or red helmets and here we have number four airport and as you can see it was a rendition of the classic pilot from probably around the 80s i think these figures were about and uh, the actual pilot there often came with a white or a black hat so um, i've chosen to show my one with white and uh, again print 100 percent bang on and finally we have number five food and drink and this is a representation of the classic town ship this one here is the only print that is in a slightly different color and this one is a very light gray uh, and i think again it is probably about a 70 percent opacity i'm pretty sure that uh, that was the correct choice to make because if they put white on white it's not going to work and uh, you can see there again next to the original minifigure the print is bang on one for one now one thing i haven't shown you so far in any of the figures is the back there is no print on the back of any of the torsos and nor should there be none of these torsos had any printing on the rear at all it is just on the front there are no faces printed on any of uh, the jumper plate minifigures at all they are simply monochromatic uh, with the exception of the print on the torso which i think is a perfect touch um, because they are monochromatic from top to bottom including their headdress as well so uh, good choice with that all the figures really do make a lovely collection there. Um, I do recommend getting all five because they just look so good together. Um, have to say that Jay has done a fantastic job putting these figs together. And uh, I genuinely hope that you guys take the time to have a look at them and uh, make sure if you are able to or want to pick them up and uh, support Jumper Plate in the process. So those are my thoughts on the minifigures that Jay has put together and a comparison to the originals from back in the day. I think Jay's done a fantastic job of putting these together and they really hit that nostalgia button for me. Please do consider buying a set of these figures to help support Jumper Plate. I personally have used Jumper Plate for our club and I highly, highly recommend it through personal experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep safe, keep building, and I'll catch you on the next one.